day, raising money for various children's charities, and we've got loads of skylights and GTRs going out uh, around the circuit, uh, taking people out five pound a lap, and um, all the money goes to charity. So last year we raised more than anyone else, so I hope to do the same again this year.
raise more money than any other club, so hopefully we can do the same again this year. And I've never seen so many 35s out together. Nope, it's the most we've ever had on track. I think there's like six of them here on track, which is kind of cool. Bearing in mind there's only a couple of years in the at the moment, which is pretty good. And hopefully next year we'll have more and more. But it's really nice to see the old skylines are still attracting a lot of attention. Yeah? That's right, yeah. So, uh, you, you think you might get your car out again a bit later on? Hopefully. Yeah? Hopefully, if it's allowed out. Is it, why is that? Is it noisy? Yeah. So this is quite a famous car, isn't it? Yeah? We've, uh, we've all seen this car on YouTube. This is the car that did uh, over 200 mile an hour through the tunnels in Japan. That's right. Is that right? That's right. So, who originally built the car, Giles? It was built by Mr. Nagata, a top secret. Some of the drivers, are they all uh, as experienced? So this must be the first time for a lot of them. Um, I'm quite surprised actually because the 35 owners, I thought possibly like a lot of the Italian exotic owners, wouldn't be very good at driving cars, but most of them do seem to be have race licenses. So they're actually they're very experienced, much better than we are. So they know their stuff? Yes, certainly do, yes. Yeah. Get down the straight before we're on level with them, I've no idea. <laughs> 